This is One on One. We are pleased to welcome Chanel Zeisel, who is a general manager of City Bike Jersey City. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Tell folks what uh, City Bike is. Uh, City Bike is Jersey City's bike share program. We have a reciprocal relationship with the New York City Bike Share, which means that in total there are over 500 bike share stations and over 8,000 bikes that are available to members of the system. Now, I don't want to assume, Chanel, that people know what uh, a bike share program really is. Explain it. Sure. So a bike share program right. is um, it's basically a, another mode of transportation. So. What's great is if you think about you have you know your trains, you have the bus system. This is an additional mode of transportation that is actually working in conjunction with those other systems to provide a multimodal um, number of options for people to get around in their urban environments. So, okay, play this out for for those who may not know the topography of uh, Jersey City. Mm -hmm. Why Jersey City? So, Jersey City was a really natural fit for a bike share. And for a couple of reasons. One, you have, it's relatively dense. Um, so that, and relatively and a lot of people well. in a s small mm -hmm. area. Right. It's pretty flat too, no? It is pretty flat. I, there, there are a couple of hills, but I think that, you know, you, you kind of work up to them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's also the second, I want to make it clear, because we're seeing it in a lot of different states, it is the second largest city, mm -hmm. second most populated, if you will, city in right. the state of New Jersey to uh, Newark, New Jersey. Um, and Mayor Fulop, Stephen Fulop, is interested mm -hmm. in this initiative as well, correct? Correct. So he's actually um, a cyclist and triathlete himself, I believe. And he was really progressive in seeing we see him right Bike there. Share as a, a we way see to a video bring... a picture of him right there. So he's oh, yeah. into this. Go ahead. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was a very progressive vision of his to bring Bike Share to Jersey City. And it's part of making the city more livable. It's part of uh, the renaissance that he's looking at developing. Um, both commercially and economically, but also for people to enjoy their urban environment. So, Let's talk about a little of the benefits. Break this down a little sure. bit. Sure. Um, because those of us who, who are in and around Manhattan, like you see the bikes all over. Right. But to get the 35 bikes in Jersey City, explain to us some of the real tangible mm -hmm. benefits. Now, there are obviously health benefits. Obviously. To those who are riding the bikes. But what are some of the other benefits? So I think the number one benefit is really price. I mean, bike share is incredibly cheap. It's fourteen ninety five a month um, if you're an annual member. So how do you do it? You, you say, I want to sign up. You come to our website. It's www.citybikejc.com. Okay. You can sign up for an annual membership there if you're ready to commit. Right. Um, if you're interested in trying the system out, you can go to any one of the 35 stations we have in Jersey City. Um, our map is visible on the website as well. And you can purchase a day pass or even a week-long pass at any of the stations. And so, okay, let's see, keep talking about the benefits. Mm -hmm. What about the economic benefits for businesses say, geographically located near a place where, I mean, because I'm thinking the bike shares, like where you dock the bike is only in certain places, right? Absolutely. So we have, um, the same way you would have a bus station, you have a bike station. So there are 35 bike stations located in all six wards of Jersey City. Um, there have been a number of studies done in other cities with developed bike shares, not just in the U.S., but also in Europe, showing that businesses located in close vicinity to these bike share stations actually do experience benefits for obvious reasons. There's traffic, um, you know, there's a, it, it creates a transportation node. But I think there are also some other things that are really obvious that we don't think about. It's physical exercise. That's it right. actually makes you hungry. What Bikers do you mean? eat more. So, the, so they're riding around yeah. and they want to eat more. So the restaurants. Exactly. You need a snack. The restaurants will do better. Result, exactly. Right? Coffee. Exactly. All of it, yeah. Um, the economics of running such an operation. Describe it. Sure. So, we are. Bike share would not be possible, in any way, shape, or form, without. Uh, having sponsors who are committed to what the program symbolizes and actually helping it come to life what do you mean in the urban environment. So here in Jersey City, um, we have our main sponsor is Horizon Foundation. Right. And they really enabled us to bring this program here, which 
it would not be possible without sponsor funding. So, okay, it's interesting. Um, they're committed to it mm -hmm. for health-related reasons, whatever it is. Well, I think Horizon really recognized the opportunity um, in Jersey City because you have a real opportunity to take and, and just revolutionize the way that people are, are moving through the environment. Is it really revolutionizing? Absolutely. And I don't just mean that as the pun. There are so many bike share puns. Yeah, OK. Um, it yeah, really changes I mean, dramatically. It, it, the journey of a thousand steps is it starts with the single single step. And I think that for a lot of people, what's so interesting about bike share is, and so many stories that I hear when I talk to people about how bike share has really influenced them and my own personal um, you know, interaction with it, is that, hey, I, I started using it, I started riding to work once a week, and it was a 10 minute ride. And you know, because I was doing that, I said, you know, one good thing leads to another. I maybe started to eat a little bit more healthfully because mm. I was a little more conscious of what I was doing. Or you know, I increased my physical activity in other ways. We had an amazing tweet a few days ago from one of our riders who said, you know, I, I rode city bike to the gym, and then I rode city bike home. That was a triple workout. That's great. It was amazing. It could change people's lives. People's lives. Before I let you out of here, yeah. um, there are environmental benefits as well, let's be Absolutely. clear. Absolutely. Because the fewer cars on the road, mm -hmm. the more people are riding their bikes, obviously there are environmental benefits, right? I mean, I think that's one of the wonderful things about bike share is that you don't have to use it to benefit from it. If you live in a city with bike share, the people in your community who are using it are decreasing the pollution they're creating, which benefits you as another person in the community. So you could be a pedestrian, mm. um, anyone who lives in a congested area that's subject to a lot of traffic, that traffic is decreasing when you add a bike share to the equation. Okay, so uh, you're born and raised in? Honolulu. Honolulu. Uh -huh. uh, we happen to be taping in our studio here in beautiful Patterson, New Jersey. And uh, we're in the winter of 2016. There was a little bit of snow that happened this morning. You told our producers you were considering, <laughs> yeah, you know where I'm going, you were considering um, biking, but it was a little too dangerous. If it were a nice day, mm -hmm. would you have? Oh, I would have biked today. I just hadn't. I hadn't ridden to Patterson before, and I wanted to bring a city bike for you today. So, but otherwise, you would have done it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You're a cyclist. I looked it up. I'm a cyclist. It's, you it's looked not it up. Far. You looked how far. I did. I, looked, <laughs> I love it. I was like, well, you know, if I start, go up to Fort Lee and then just head west. I'll go oh, through. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, listen, we love having you uh, in from uh, Honolulu. How long have you been here? Um, in in the tri-state area. Well, I know you went to Columbia, and mm -hmm. then you're here, and then you're part of this yep. operation. So and... about 14 years on the East Coast now. Good. Well, we love yeah. having you here. Thank Chanel, you, Chanel so uh, Zeisel. Zizel. Who is general manager of City Bike JC Jersey City. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much, Appreciate Steve. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We're right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Barnabas Health, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, Investors Bank. PSE&G, the Russell Berry Foundation, NJ Best, and by Verizon. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.